All right, so my buddy said my videos are too long. Maybe I need to make a video about attention to detail and short attention spans. Anyways, I'm gonna try to keep it short. So this one's about what type of learner are you? Are you kinesthetic? Or are you a audio or are you a visual? Kinesthetic is where you gotta learn hands-on. You're a hands-on person, you jump right in it and you learn it that way. Are you audio where you just listen and you can pick up stuff? Or are you visual? You can just see it, all right? Look it up, there's more about that. So once you understand what type of learner you are, well then you gotta understand this guy named Bloom. He came up with this thing called Bloom's Taxonomy. And what he discovered is there's six levels to learning, all right? And those six levels are really simple. First, you're exposed to something. Second, you can comprehend it. Well, that's pretty much what you got in grammar school from kindergarten to your senior year. They might get a little bit more critical thinking in high school, but not, not really, all right? It's all about memorization more. So they keep you in those first two realms, and that's, that's a problem. That's a big problem because the third one is application i'll watch so many people they'll learn so much stuff and when we're talking they can regurgitate it but when it comes down to doing the work and understanding how to apply the knowledge they can't do it they can't do it at all and that's just the third level imagine if people would get past the third level and learn how to apply most of the things that they've learned man you might change you might be on a total different trajectory of where you're going. He you might get to the next levels, which is evaluation and analyzing and evaluation. And then after that, man, you're golden. You can be a creator. You can make whatever you want, however you want, about whatever subject you want. Once you've learned everything there is to learn about that, you might be able to do something, something that no one's ever even heard of. All right, so the other flip side of that is, hey man, you're passionate about something. And so now you go out and you just start creating. Then you analyze it, you evaluate it, you apply it, you can comprehend it, and it's, it is the last one. It's knowledge, a new knowledge and something else. So if you can learn the six levels of learning and how it all works and how you can flip it on its head and be something new, you can change the way you're doing business. You can change everything about yourself. Here's one of the things I want you to understand. If you see somebody and they keep scoring 100%, 100%, well maybe they're just very good with their visual and their audio learning and they can comprehend and regurgitate it. Then you see another student and boy, they're only getting 76, 75. They're barely passing. That doesn't mean that, that student has a hard or is is dumb or worse than that other student that's scoring the high. We tend to get hung up on this GPA average thing. The problem of it is, is we still got the third level, and that is the application. I see a lot of kids that come out with C averages, but they can apply all 75% of what they know to the real world, and I'll see kids with 94 and they can only apply 40% of what they know. Watch it. If you think I'm wrong, you watch and you'll see. You'll see those people that are great with book sense. They're smart in the book world, but when it comes to common sense, it's not so common. That's what I'm talking about. Who are you gonna want? Somebody that can apply all, your, all the knowledge that they have or somebody that can only apply 40% of the knowledge that they have. Something to think about. Anyways, kept this video short, kept it sweet. Hope this works for you. Go off and study it. Bloom's Taxonomy. And then, what type of learner are you? Type that into Google, you'll have all kinds of searches. Anyways, like this video, share this video, I don't care. Just keep following. And I got three more two more videos and then um, I'll start working on my book and I think we'll start moving into teamship and how it works as a team and then after that if we get so many videos of that we'll understand how an organization works anyways thank you for supporting this page and uh, keep looking and hopefully I can keep some motivation and inspiration maybe one day we'll talk about stewardship versus ownership who knows 
we'll figure out some virtue talking since we've been on that subject before. Anyways, hope you have a good weekend. Take care of yourself and everybody else.